Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shamer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. All right, we're on our fifth Sidra, our fifth Aliyah of this Torah portion of Zav, found in Leviticus. This particular section is taken from Leviticus chapter 8, verses 14 through 21. I'm going to be focusing in on verses 20 and 21. Now, this is the sacrifice. Uh, that is made for the consecration of the Kohanim to initiate them into their priesthood and into their service at the tabernacle for the children of Israel. So it says, after he cut the ram into pieces, Moses burned the head, the pieces, and the fat. He washed the innards and the legs with water. Then Moses burned the whole ram up in smoke on the altar. It was a burnt offering, a soothing aroma an offering made by fire to Adonai, as Adonai had commanded Moses. You know, one of the biggest questions that believers get, whether Jewish believers or Christians, is regarding the Old Testament and the Old Testament sacrificial system. And the most simplistic answer is that it is a substitutionary uh, type of system where the animal is pretty much taking your place uh, as a sacrifice for atonement for sin. But we've got to remember that not all sacrifices were for sin atonement. Some sacrifices were just simply uh, out of love. Some of them were, were voluntary. Some of them were, were for thanksgiving. So some of them had no atoning aspects. And people say, well, why, why all this butchery? Why all this slaughter of animals? Well, the same thing could be said about a man and a wife. You know, a wife says, honey, my birthday's coming up. Our anniversary's coming up, whatever. I want you to get me flowers. The husband's like, I just don't get it, honey. I, I just don't understand. What is the purpose of, of flowers? It's such a waste of money. It's so expensive. Yeah, they may be pretty for a few days, but you put them in water a few days later, maybe a week if you're lucky, you throw them out. It's just such, it's, it's, it doesn't economically make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Does it have to make sense? No, it doesn't. Your wife wants flowers, give her flowers. Why? Because you love her. Why? Because it pleases her. Why? Because she loves them. Why? Because she has reasons why she wants flowers, and you may ne never, ever understand those reasons for wanting flowers. You know, the husband's like, well, come on, honey. I mean, you know, let's, let's get practical here. If I wanted to give you a gift, why don't I get you a nice blender or a nice vacuum cleaner? Or, you know, I can, I can see that it makes a little bit more sense. Maybe I should give you a gift certificate to the spa and just, you know, have a spa day. That'll last a lot longer than flowers. No, honey, I want flowers. Please give me flowers for my birthday and or anniversary. Well, it's kind of the same thing with God. God is like, look, I want this sacrifice. To, you, do, you don't understand it. You don't get it because you're not infinite. You're not God, but it is a pleasing aroma to me. And this is what I require. So if you love me, this is what you'll do. It's just like the wife. Honey, if you love me, you're going to get me flowers. The Lord's like, if you love me, you're going to bring these sacrifices that I commanded. And do we have to understand the reasons why? No. Do we always have to understand in order to obey? No. I remember uh, one of my favorite sci-fi shows, Babylon 5 where uh, Dylan, she's the, she is an ambassador, an alien ambassador, and uh, her attache finally finally meets her. And he, dress, he addresses her by the name that she's supposed to be addressed by. And she says, please don't ever address me by that name around here. Do you understand? He says, no, I don't understand, but understanding is not um, required for compliance and for obedience. So it's not always that we have to get and understand everything because remember, we're finite creatures. We're finite human beings. God is infinite. And, you know, we can never understand God in this body, in this fallen realm, the way we are now. We're going to understand everything once we get to the other side. But all we have to know is that God is loving, God is holy, God is just, and God is fair. And when he asks something, he's got his reasons, and it's just like flowers. We don't have to understand. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom, and God bless.